నలుగురిని కాల్చేసి ఐదో చెట్టుకు ఉండేటువంటి భిక్షపతిని వదిలేశారు ఎందుకు వదిలేశారు వాళ్ళకి తెలియదు చిత్రహింస పెట్టారు వదిలేశారు ఎమర్జెన్సీ లిఫ్ట్ చేసిన తర్వాత అతను ప్రత్యక్ష సాక్షి అయ్యాడు ఆ కేసులో నాట్ ఓన్లీ దోస్ హు ఆర్ బిలాంగింగ్ టు దరమ్స్ బట్ ఈవెన్ దేర్ ఫ్రంట్ సింపతైజర్స్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆర్గనైజర్స్ లైక్ పీడిఎస్యూ పీపుల్ డెమోక్రటిక్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆర్గనైజర్ దే వర్ ఆల్ నాకు స్లైట్ అవుట్ ఫీట్స్ బట్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆర్గనైజర్స్ దే వర్ డూయింగ్ పీస్ఫుల్ వర్క్ దే వర్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు ది ఫారెస్ట్ అండ్ కిలింగ్ ఎనీబడి అండ్ ఎ స్టూడెంట్ ఆఫ్ మైన్ ప్రసాద్ హీ వాజ్ ఆల్సో కిల్డ్ యూ నో ఐ వాజ్ టీచింగ్ ఇన్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజ్ అట్ దాన్ ఈ వాజ్ జస్ట్ అరెస్టెడ్ అండ్ షార్ట్ హీ వాజ్ వెరీ యాక్టివ్ ఇన్ ది విద్యార్థి మూమెంట్ స్టూడెంట్ మూమెంట్ ఐ పర్సనల్లీ విజిటెడ్ ది గెస్ట్ హౌసెస్ అండ్ సైండ్ ఆల్ ది గెస్ట్ హౌస్ రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ బుక్స్ if you see the world books you will see kg karna biran secretary tarkonde committee is there and i used to ask the watchman to security staff to give me a copy certified by them and told them that they will keep this record without destroying the police did not really anticipate all these things then we went to guntur in guntur we and quite into deaths about deaths of about six people we also went to the burial place where these bodies which were shot some were cremated some were buried in fact in uh, giraipalli uh, i don't know whether i should search for that photograph the father of the uh, father of janardan rao on the pointing out of a villager that the bodies were buried here the after cremation the bones were buried here he dug out and the bones were there takunde committee kind of reportage was the first of its kind you know we have had Uh, excessive use of force and unconstitutional use of force in Kashmir in uh, northeast and we all knew about it i'm talking of the time of takunde committee report but it was never so fully documented by you know painstaking field research talking with people naming but and that starts a trend which happens then that survives in the 1984 sikh genocide where pucl produced a report naming people so it's a very valuable precedent of naming and shaming people it was broadcast all over the country through the tv and it really sent shock waves to the people at that time and moraji desai directed bengal rao to appoint a committee then we went to desai and said there's no point in asking him to appoint a committee central government should appoint then he said it's a law and order matter they have to appoint how can a human life be right to life be law and order it is uh, right to life is also a central subject the article the enforcement of the article is also re- re- rests with you also rests with you so you should appoint then he said i will suggest a judge and he he will appoint a appointed judge so he suggested bargava just is bargava a retired judge of the supreme court I had a great regard for Mr. Vengal Rao, the Chief Minister. He was a man of integrity and honesty, a very straightforward person. So it was he who requested me when uh, the Janta Party government came and then they appointed Bhargo Commission. He was keen that uh, I should appear for him. Vengal Rao had the best of relations with Murarji Desai and Charan Singh. But uh, in spite of that, the pressure 
of the socialists was so much. And particularly Jay Prakash Ji was very particular that the, these matters must be gone into. Somewhere in July 78, he held his first sitting in this Dilkusha guest house. I still remember. And uh, Nagaridi's men, that is OPDR, came and made a big speech. We do not believe we have faith in bourgeois system of justice. And then raised slogan saying class justice. Justice in this society is class justice and all that thing and then left. That being their position uh, at that time. But I told our friends that uh, you cannot take that kind of a thing. You are working, you, you are living in this system and these institutions will have to be used. These institutions have to be properly used, not for your sake, but for the sake of all other people who may not be Naksamites. Because what, what is happening to you may happen to them tomorrow. And this method, once adopted, will never leave. And so we've got to fight this. Bhargava in his turn was also basically anti-communist. Vikshapati was our star witness and uh, when I placed him before the commission, Bhargava was a bit stunned and I couldn't believe it. And he was very hostile to this man also. Some sort of hostility was there. Then I, I never bothered about it. I put a second witness, a third witness, how they were tortured, they, that uh, everything was coming out. Mamul pada itu itu layar laku saat sini beli cerita Jepun di Chester, kerana mereka pura itu Jepun. Nu Vien Jepun itu kuno cepu. Walau asal Jepun model beriti. Ini presiden report kau mau beriti. Rindu di, miri bicara itu naru, sampai naja itu naru meo mantu naja principle di negara kita polis adikaran baju je. Ini government policy yang cepat naja encounter meo. I don't think it went off more than eight days or something like that. Or a little more, I don't know. I don't remember now. But uh, the commission felt that, um, and perhaps rightly so, that it was sought to be scuttled. Which they had a Vengalao Karan Lozari in a atrocity CV. Vengalao Wodin Chenari Tadikaran Logochadu. Can Chenari ordered it to be held in, in camera? And we said that uh, if, we, if our witness's name does not appear in the papers, our witness's life is not safe. We can't undertake this kind of an inquiry. An inquiry is, should be public. And we walked out. And Tarkunde also, I telephoned Tarkunde, told them. All the committee members I informed, they all agreed to the course. Because we are carrying on, they are not carrying on the inquiry here. Why publicity? Why, why openness? Because uh, it is the greatest disinfectant to arbitrariness. You are under the gaze of the people. So I think in India, the activists, including this in this commission, but generally, have insisted on the public character 
of judicial inquiries, courts or commissions, doesn't matter what they are. And rubber bed, they seem to succeed. The state must stop them. And there are various ways of stopping. Commissions of inquiry I go in camera. Commissions of inquiry could be wound up. So I think it was a very good move to say, we don't give you legitimacy if you go private. So walking out of a participation in an official commission is as significant a gesture as in participating in an open public inquiry or on the alternative, hold your parallel inquiries, citizens committees. But one thing that uh, I should say is that Bhargava, after uh, I summoned for that confidential memo, he sent for me and said, Mr. Kannabiran, you have made out your case. That means all the officers I have accused in that case would have been punished. So when uh, the inquiry was terminated this way, I asked Bhagwa whether he would give, at least submit his report of that portion, which he has completed. Because he would not, because he said that the entire terms of reference, that means he was uh, uh, willing to continue for another two, three years. The police had been saying that they had not been doing any encounters, on the contrary, they were confronted with encounters and therefore they had to fight. Well, how far it is true, I cannot say. But uh, later events, later events give an impression to me, give an impression to me that uh, the encounters did not appear to be the real encounter. They were make believe affairs and then people were killed. In the meantime, you know, as the, I knew that the commission uh, is likely to be wound up sooner or later. I participated in Muktadar Commission where uh, there was a custodial death and a custodial rape. And I appeared for Ramiza B. It was a custodial rape of this woman Ramiza B in a police station, the Nalakunta police station. When her husband found out and questioned the police, he was beaten to death. So it was, it was a custodial rape and a custodial death, which aroused so much public anger that people went on a rampage and then there was curfew and shoot at sight orders for three days. And there I exposed the nexus between the police and the pimps and the prostitutes in that case. And how, you know, the the entire thrust was uh, that uh, the, the state took upon itself to prove that Ramiza B is a prostitute. That is all they tried to do. If she is a prostitute, our moral conscience will, will stay away from her and will not help her. And one learnt a lot of things. I mean, then, you know, our consciousness as women, our political consciousness was growing. We're not even yet in 78 coalesced as a women's group. But we went to attend because Kanna was a council, Ramiz Abhi was brought home and, you know, questioned for some time and we were talking to different people connected with her. And we attended the commission. And when we saw the way in which this commission was conducted, I mean, we saw the policemen, we saw the Others, I mean, talking, I mean, the kind of questions that uh, the Defence Council were taking. When we saw all this, we were shocked. I mean, it, it's like a realisation of what it meant to be a woman in this country. 
And my favorite line and speeches after that would be like, man after man stood up and told Ramiza that I slept with her on such and such a date, you know, at such and such a hotel. And there's nothing else, no corroboration. So I said, any woman, I can be called a prostitute. I mean, 10 p.m. men can get up and give a date and a time, and that's taken for granted. So there's nothing that protects any woman from me at this. What Kanna learned was how people reacted. When he saw different parties and party leaders and groups and other identity groups reacting to the issue and the government, for all of us it was learning of how government functions, government doctors function, the police function, how the legal system functions, it's an eye-opener for all of us. Some of it kind of knew, but I think it was step by step for all of us, a growth in how all these clued, you know, to cover up the truth. When Syed bin Ali uh, was shot dead in the Ramizabi, post Ramizabi riots. So that Syed bin Ali was a, was a ma mafia gang leader. He was shot. And then when his wife uh, saw him being shot and then she filed a petition. It petitioned in the high court and I saw one young man arguing. I told the young man, I will argue this case. So I took up the case and argued thinking, at least in the case of a rowdy, the high court may hold that this encounter is a crime. So that did not happen anyway. I argued before Muktada and then I told Muktada that the presumption in a, in, in a killing in self-defense is murder and it has to be registered as a murder. And the person who says I killed him in self-defense will have to establish it in a court. I showed him that evidence act provision, he referred it to a bench. When the matter went to a bench, uh, the public prosecutor uh, asserted that he has a right. So I told the judge, sir, I, I'll, see, I'll rest for two hours or three hours. Let the prof prosecutor search the provision and place it before you, which enables a police officer to kill, shoot to kill a person. I'll wait for you. Today, tomorrow, you can give him any number of days to search for the provision. I'll wait. They, it could not be found. But then the judges thought that if, uh, you know, it's a very peculiar thing. He was a very good judge, K. Ramchandra very good judge. And uh, he asked me, why, why is it a police officer is giving, given a firearm? I said, he's given a firearm only to in self-defense while regulating uh, peace, regulating people, processions and uh, maintaining uh, peace and public tranquility. There may be uh, situations where he will have to defend himself. So he is given that gun. He is not given that gun to go and be trigger happy and shoot everybody he likes. Not, not done. Anyway, by and large I found that uh, I was able to deal with these judges. They had this liberal value. I mean, they are not really strong on John Stuart Mill or Bentham and this and that political philosophy and all that. But they are very strong on very uh, sturdy common sense and a uh, sort of a sense of justice. Nagaradi conspiracy case, when it came to the High Court, Madhusudan Rao, I think, was the judge. And the volumes of accused statement were placed before him. Uh, Nagaradi 517, another accused 220, another 300, <laughs> like that. So he said, it was during the emergency, it was during the month of October. 1975 or September 1975. So, I said I am ready and then we will argue. Then he looked at the thing and said it is monotonous, I will post it before a division bench, two judges. Then I smiled and said, but this is a case, this is not a case like uh, ordinary murders. This is a case about people who every one of them could be a chief minister of the state. They are very well read, well informed, great intellectuals. And if we go through this case, I am sure you and I will emerge as better persons. I told him. And then I, I immediately, he said, what is the first document? First document is immediate program, Takshara Karyakrama. So I told the judge that uh, there is a sense of urgency in a communist, but that does not mean he means it seriously. A revolution takes a long time to come, but he will always say it is an immediate program. If you read the communist uh, manifesto, 
you will see the you will see the same you will get the same feeling that they are in a great urgency. So I had copies of Communist Manifesto with him, handed over one to him. I had them and <laughs> read some passages and talked about it and he got interested. He got interested and daily he was waiting for this after lunch hearing of the case. He also has a desire to be known as an intellectual, a well read man and all that. This is the thing that uh, saves this institution and if you are not able to encourage this trend and make it mechanical and boring, this institution will sink. Then accused number 30 before the government trial for the day. So there when uh, the juniors come and tell me, I tell them that it, uh, the way you deal with the case decides whether the judge is going to listen to you or not. Judges have listened to me. You know, a lawyer, when he enters the profession, you know, I entered the profession against my will and I said it is a parasitic profession and all that. But you know, the legend of the profession is something which is fascinating. You know, you hear of great trials, a great cross-examination, great lawyers. You know, it's a dream. It's your dream to fight for liberty. Such a fascinating, very romantic subject. But then I never thought that uh, my boon will be granted with such plenty. You know, I've been arguing only liberty cases since then. Then I became part of the civil liberties movement, APCLC, because as a member I was doing cases. I used to write statements for it and all that. As it was going on, the state conference of APCLC came. Varangal Avitkunar, state conference. Speaker Govind Mukotin invited Jishnar. Govind Mukoti ki English tapa Bengali hai to usko gani Hindi ko da raad baadi ki sariga. Nannu Dubash ka ramanaru. Agar aayi mana kasi pati, e security ta valad is kuttu vachi nannu ganam batkani. Ok, rendu samachal me president ko naal kanda mera. Varoro has his own version. They thought Rajagopalan would become president, and Rajagopalan was taken there. Rajagopalan was speaking there. The first session Rajagopalan was speaking, it seems Rajagopalan started uh, how urban guerrillas should work, what kind of weapons you have to procure. And this is in a civil liberties movement. Okay. Then immediately Vivi and Ranganatham thought, no, no, he is not a <laughs> candidate, he cannot be a candidate, we have to search for other. Then uh, none else than Kanaviran, okay, we will ask Kanaviran. And that's how Kanaviran was. <laughs> when the APCLs were formed in 1972, our concept was that uh, two parties sitting together have decided to have APCLC and decided to have APCLC to condemn the encounters or to condemn the atrocities uh, with this thing and it is uh, it will be generally directed by the ML parties themselves. So we have decided to have Patipati Vengateshwaru as secretary and all of us in the executive. Some Democrats and intellectuals from outside also will have APCLC but generally 
the male movement will be directing them. Pradhananga Naxalite like someone in Jena Sama Selimim take up Jesh. A patlo e power of Kul Sangamida Kuntan of Woman Pedaman Shulmak Jepe the Naku Okosari Arozalu Chala Salu Giano de Ungaligin the Natakanenu than Vina and Injapinente Sarman of Panin in Taki. Man Mitla, Waldemida, Nirbandan Jeritaman and Kandin Sudena, Inkanta Minchiman of Bajatim lay the Samaj and Lante, lay the Ledu, Mudrakal of Bajatulunte, first two man of Nirbanda was the Kandin Jale. Rundu Manam Prajalandani, Naxalite movement to Sanbuti Perliga, Samaker in Jale. Our Saramate that La Sabil Nijali, we Manam Murpalman and Jale Jeppe, Nena Razan Kuni, the Chala Gopapan in Zangani, the Annaman of Archer in Chal and Jepan Kuni. Okarundelu Gerchin Trawat and Pichindi, Adi Sajan Kazatla. There was a stage when APCLC was led by the party people. Barbara was there, uh, you know, Pradeep was there. They were all, you know, literally people from a movement. But uh, when Karna took over, first thing that he did is that asked the movements to withdraw, so to completely, you know, keep off. And that's where, you know, the an autonomous civil liberties movement started building up. Parokul Sangamente, Eros and Nut Leda Rosalo. Arosalo Maku, Pradana Samasemundente, a power of Kula Paribasha, the civil liberties discourse and edi, than Kinka Samajan La Gurtimpule, the Gauro and Gudale. Police will put it up in the Ipudu Atlanti Rakal and arguments such a Kabati, a power of Kula argument to cook Amodani, Sampazin Satamu, Patrika Loka, Stanan Sampazin Sukotong of the Savasega. Matamata, Parakul Sanga, where Padin Taravate, police station Kube Adagata and his mother. As a police station Kube did the mother to a layman as a day, may Mendukuna try Kadan it. It like a matlad, Salasan. May Mendukuna try Kada, may under Samadan and Jepte may indicate Kada, may we win a jets, and take a ration than me. Yes, a tunnel ration, yes, a tunnel ration than Edin in Chepe, our surveil in Miku. May we win jets as my Kakun that la. No Adagatan Kivil than Jepe, Walu. Arozu, Godo Jason, fact finding committee both up it. Permission look under Rao the Nedi. Yes, Satam Prakaram permission this call and Mamadutunet. Niku Satam in the age of Pinchaker led the new Rao than ten, Rao than ten, Rao than ten. Atla Valato, Tagada Ladstone. And Oka Chinna Visham, Police Olu Kudite, Sanepoena Oka case law, fact finding committee Kipoya, Adikaram, Prajala Kundi, and I established Jaitan Kema, which Allah Okaronu in Lubati. Tarkunde committee. Really was appointed to us that we should constitute this kind of fact finding committees and go, go on releasing the information to the people. More to educate the people about this than to reach across to the government because we knew that the government is absolutely impervious, indifferent to this kind of killings. So we, we had this uh, fact finding teams with other from uh, other uh, parties, Janta Party or uh, some other party as being members, Socialist Party, being members of the Commission, a larger group going and looking into things and uh, discussing these things and then writing a report and holding a meeting on the basis of this report and talking to them. This was all systematically done. I am going to go to Indraveli. Indraveli is beautiful. Nirmal Dekra is here. Nirmal Dekra is here. Pada 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 Mem Rela Rentenente, I had a child of a joke just that. Rela, 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 and then you can see that. Apu, okay, Jeep the pitchy Jeep lo tano, front seat lo gurchuner. May want the inca seat lo. Cheped, pray, Miratla gurchon enter and tame, some police officers and name, Ipud, police or CA officer. Mirandaru, Saman and Al Gurchale, part of it, and part of the Hutnur Chorastran were after. Everything is okay. The work and silent. I am 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 
యువనికి మీటింగ్ పెడతాం ఏ జనం లేరంటే అరే పోలీసు వాళ్ళకే పెడతాం రా మీటింగ్ పోలీసు వాళ్ళకే చెప్పాలి రే పోలీసు లారా మీరు బీదోళ్ళు ఆ గోండ్లను ఎందుకు రా ఇంత మంది చంపారు పోలీసు వాళ్ళకే చెప్పాలి ప్రజలకు ఎప్పుడు చెప్పేది ఉంటుంది రా విధవా పోలీసు వాళ్ళకే చెప్పాలని ఇక మొదలు పెట్టాడు స్పీచ్ బ్రహ్మాండంగా అతను ఎమోషనల్కి వచ్చినప్పుడు చెప్పే స్పీచ్ ఎవరికి అంతుగా చట్టం అంటే ఏంది మెల్లగా మొదలు పెడతాడు చట్టం అంటే ఏంది అట్లా అని పోయి 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 ఇక రాజ్యం మీద పెడతాడు ఆడ ఆరణాల విధవ ఆడొకడు వీడొక ఆరు వేల విధవ వీడొకడు అంటాడు పేరు చెప్పాడు ఎస్పీని వాళ్ళకి అని వాళ్ళొకరు వాళ్ళు చెప్పినట్టు వినవే విధవలు మీరొకరు మీ విధవలను చెప్పడానికి వచ్చిన వాళ్ళు మేమంత విధవలం అయిపోయినా ఎవరు అంటాడు ఐ హెవ్ నెవర్ బీన్ ఇన్వాల్వ్ ఇన్ ఏపీసీఎల్సి నెవర్ బీన్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ఇన్వాల్వ్ ఇన్ ఏపీసీఎల్సి బికాస్ ఐ న్యూ లాంగ్ గో ఐ గోన్ వన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఫైండింగ్ కమిటీ i knew the whole lot of them and i knew that in the apclc i would never be more than a wife i would be given a lot of respect i would be you know given a position on the stage i'd be asked to make the occasional speech but never would i be anything other than kanabran's wife and i had well, i didn't mind being kanabran's wife but i was not going to be politically only kanabran's wife <laughs> but then at that point being a part of sri shakti sangat now also because of friendship with all these women who were there in part of it and right from then i think that what happened was that there was this constant tension between political parties wanting us to become a mere women's wing i would say there was almost a tension between the people's work group and the cp group you know each trying to claim us and each trying to use us to articulate their concerns and you know seeing that the group had a lot of visibility but wanting to make us a wing and how we resisted that co- very consciously and said we would not be part of any political party but we would raise concerns and we also went through a lot of contradictions in the process because we had our personal loyalties we had our personal uh, uh, connections and at the same time we could see that a lot of it was very wrong and right from then dialogues with the party and questions about what happens to the individual what happens to the women's question began you know we're being raised oh ipudu na vastadu mana gare aa rojullo vadu bangaram dongatanam chese kada etlo one case manam take up chesedi andar navvara manalni chusi ani ankunedi kan poi poi mem em annam ante aina evaraithe emundi police station lo oka vyakti arrest ayin tarvata chattam prakaram konni paddhatulu unnai aa paddhatulanu vallu paatisthunnara leda anedi manam mundaithe chusi cheppali kada ani cheppi mem anukunnam అప్పుడు కాలోజీ గారు మా మాతో ఒకరోజు అన్నారు అరే అరెస్ట్ ఎందుకు చేస్తారా మీకు తెలుసా అని అడిగింది నిజంగా మాకు తెలియదు అప్పుడు కాలోజ్ ఏమని అంటే నేరం చేసిండా అని అరెస్ట్ చేయట్లేదు నేరం చేసినవన్నీ పక్కన ఉన్నోడు కొడతాడేమో అని చెప్పి వాడు కొట్టకుండా రక్షణ కల్పించడానికి అరెస్ట్ చేస్తారని చెప్పాడు ఎంత నవ్వుకుడు అవ్వదు అని తెలిసిన తర్వాత ప్రతి మీటింగ్లో మేము పోయి ఇదే చెప్పేది ఫస్ట్ అసలు అరెస్ట్ ఎందుకు చేస్తారు చేయవలసిన అవసరం లేదు నేరం చేస్తే అరెస్ట్ చేయాలని ఏం లేదు కేసు పెట్టి కోర్టులో నడపచ్చు ఎందుకు అరెస్ట్ చేస్తారంటే ఆ వ్యక్తి ఇతరుల నుంచి సమాజం నుంచి ఆయనకు రక్షణ కల్పించడానికి అరెస్ట్ చేస్తారు మరి రక్షణ కల్పించేటోడు ఎట్లా కొడతాడు ఇది మా ప్రధానమైన ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ ఉండే చాలా సందర్భాల్లో ముఖ్యంగా ఆ రోజుల్లో గుంటూరులోనైతే ఈ లాకప్పు హత్యలకు సంబంధించి మళ్ళీ పాతి పెట్టిన శవాలను వెలికి తీసి మళ్ళీ పోస్ట్మార్టం చేయించిన సందర్భాలని పోలీసులు వెంటబడుతుంటే మేము పోయి దాన్ని బాడీ తీయించి జడ్జి ముందు అక్కడ నిలబడి దానికి మళ్ళీ రీపోస్ట్మార్టం చేయించి దాన్ని ఆ పెద్ద ఒక ఆందోళన లాగా చేసిన సందర్భాలు కూడా ఉన్నాయి అట్లా మొట్టమొదటిసారి భారతదేశంలోనే లాకప్ డెత్ కస్టోడియల్ వైలెన్స్ అనే సమస్యను పట్టించుకోలేదు మొట్టమొదటిసారి ఇక్కడ పట్టించుకోవడం జరిగింది ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఐ థింక్ ఇఫ్ ఆల్ ది ఫ్యాక్ట్స్ గ్యాదర్డ్ బై ఆల్ ది ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఆర్ పుట్ టుగెదర్ యు హ్యావ్ ఎ కాంప్రహెన్సివ్ డాక్యుమెంటేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్కౌంటర్ కిల్లింగ్స్ ఇన్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ బారింగ్ ఓన్లీ ది ఎమర్జెన్సీ పీరియడ్ వెన్ ది సివిల్ రైట్స్ పీపుల్ ఆల్సో ఎన్ చేయి దే కుడ్ డూ దిస్ బట్ అదర్వైజ్ వీ హ్యావ్ హెడ్ కాంప్రహెన్సివ్ డాక్యుమెంటేషన్ and i think also that uh, it is part of the creator of the civil rights movement in andhra pradesh that we have been able to educate the ordinary people that encounter means murder today one does not have to tell them nepal reddy one 18 year old boy and uh, uh, parseya and uh, rabindar reddy who were being taken over accused in the secunderabad conspiracy case were taken to the magistrate's house for judicial remand as soon as they came out of the magistrate's house they were shot 
So we went and asked the magistrate, he was in judicial remand and you allowed him to die. George Fernandez was in the team which, uh, which went and interviewed that magistrate in, Su in Surya Pet. I mean, this was going on. This uh, I failed in my attempts, and then we say these two deaths and another death we put it to in a, sent it as a writ petition, and uh, it was pending in the High Court until N T Ramarao became the Chief Minister, and when N T Ramarao became the Chief Minister, we were represented that that those de deaths have become regular now. Then the court directed that you place all that material before the co government and see what response it has, post it after one month, they said, and then you placed all the material before the thing. And uh, in the meantime, you know, it was 87, past 87. So two petitions were filed in uh, uh, the Supreme Court and one with reference to custodial deaths also. And all these petitions were dismissed by the Supreme Court on the ground that you can go and file private complaints. When I say that a police establishment is killing people as a matter of policy, we never expected the Supreme Court to respond like this. But it did respond like that. Then ultimately what happened was uh, Madhusudan Raj Yadav was killed here in the city one fine morning in the early hours, seven, early hours means what, 7, 7.30 at the time, you were shot by Varangal police. Then I heard the news that uh, one identified a Naxalite belonging to PWG, he does not belong to PWG, to mislead the uh, people because they thought PWG has a sanction and so we must put PWG to have a, exercise this, invoke the powers of social sanction. So they put it like that. Then I walked into the court and made an oral application to uh, detain the body instead of cremating it and to hand it over to his wife. So the wife went and identified that body as that of her husband and then the, the case went on and he gave a judgment saying that encounter is a homicide, it has to be investigated and on investigation the person who committed the murder must be prosecuted. After so many years of toiling in 1997, I got this judgment. I got this judgment. Kaji Petlo, Varangalo, Kaji Petlo, or radical youth like Karekata. Cycle this coni, O Grama and Botunte, Arej Jesaru, Chitrahim Serveti, Sampesi, Ekodo, Muluetu Nagara, all of this great Kal Jesar. Encounter what a practice a little. Then Mudros was Tali Polish station Kochi, Nakurumi at Kocharu, Makurus con cycle a corona and cycle Zupis to Nadi, Mark Interior than Chapter. ఈ కేసు మీద డాక్టర్ రామనాథం గారు నేను మీ వంత వెళ్లి ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఫైండింగ్ చేసి కొడవడి సుదర్శన్ ను ఎస్ఐ ఆదిగిరెడ్డి సంపేశాడు అని ప్రకటనిస్తే పత్రికల చాలా పెద్దగా వచ్చింది 18 డిసెంబర్ 24 లో జరిగితే 85 లో సెప్టెంబర్ 2న ఆదిగిరెడ్డి హత్య జరగాని ఇది ఇంకా ఆదిగిరెడ్డి చేసిన చాలా దుశ్చర్యల గతంగా పార్టీ అతని సంపేస్తే సెప్టెంబర్ 3 ఉదయమే డాక్టర్ రామనాథం గారు సంపేశారు Balgopal rings me up and says, uh, where's Karnavirayan? I said, he's in court. He says, tell him there's been an attack on Ravnathan. So I said, how is he? This is pause and then he says, he's dead. And that was, I mean, for me, the problem was kind of came back and how to break this news to him, how to tell him that this man you spoke to in the morning has just been shot dead. That morning I told him, don't go to the dispensary. He said, don't go, this man went. Shot, I believe. Prabhakaradi also the same thing. And then we had to go after Ramnathan was killed, we went there. To attend the funeral, we went there. Then the minute the body left, I mean like thieves, I mean I and I'm always there to see that this kind of thing happens because otherwise what happens, people surround him, then they're chatting and they go on. And on the highway anything can happen. I mean 
thing is also to get him out of there quickly before anybody realizes he